Hi folks, this is Jim Aiken. I'm here to show you one of the new tricks that you can perform with digital audio in Reason 7.0, which I've just reviewed for Keyboard Magazine. What I have here is a, a little demo song. It's not really a song at all. It's just a, a little piece that I put together in order to show you this feature, or these features. What I have here is I have a bass line and I have a chord track. They're really too stupid to actually be used in a song, but they will show you the tempo so that you can hear what the tempo is. I also have an, an audio loop down here, which we'll get to in a second. So this is what the bass and chords sound like by themselves. Well, as you can see, that's not really inspiring. I've imported this drum loop, which, as you can see, is obviously at the wrong tempo. It ends right in the middle of bar three, and if I put the two together, what you're going to get is a train wreck. Well, that's not too cool, is it? But we can fix that. What we do is we double-click on this. We First, we make sure that snap is enabled, and we extend the clip out to the bar line. You'll notice that the audio didn't move. It's still in the same place it was before. Now we double click this and you can see that Reason has already placed slice markers automatically in the loop when I imported it. Now I'm going to select all of these slice markers with the mouse and then I'm going to select the rightmost one and I'm going to drag it out to the bar 5 line with the mouse like this. Now let's listen to the result. It's that easy. But wait, there's more. If we want, we can take this clip, now that it's aligned with the beat properly, <clears throat> and we can export it to a Dr. Octorex so that we could do snare replacement or uh, filtering or whatever else we happen to want to do. This is handled in the Edit Bounce menu. And what we have here is the item Bounce Clip to Rex Loop. And we say, OK, I'd like to do that, please. Now we have a Rex Loop over here called Audio Track 1. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of um, that uh, edit mode. And I'm going to remute this. Now, I'm going to select this Rex Clip, and I'm going to say, I'm going to click the To Rack button. What that does is it creates a Dr. Octorex for me and selects the Dr. Octorex track. If I hit F6, you will see that we now have a Dr. Octorex in here, and the loop is already in it. So it will sound like this. Well, it's exactly the same as before. It's exactly the same as before. What we wanted was that. But of course, it's now being played by Dr. Octorex. So I could, if I wanted, disenable the loop player, go up to the uh, edit menu and say copy loop to track. And now if I go back to the tracks display, you'll see that the Rex loop, which was made out of the audio loop, is now a bunch of MIDI events. And if I wanted a drum fill, if I want to mess with things in arbitrary and horrible ways. I could do this. This is easier than stretching the audio, although you could also do that, as I'm about to show you. Well, you can... that wasn't very good, but you get the idea. Now, we'll escape from that. We're, we'll mute the Dr. Octorex track, and we're going to unmute the audio track, and it will sound the same as before. Okay, sounds good. Now, if you wanted to regroove it without messing with Dr. Octorex, you would simply grab one of these handles and drag it, for example, like this. Now, Snap has been enabled, so we've now moved that drum hit back. Let's listen to it. Then, as you can see, Reason Stretch this clip, this uh, little segment here, narrowed this one, 
And we, if we didn't like that, we can hit Command Z, undo it, and we're back where we started. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can accomplish with Reason 7.